Welcome to Canada, 1800s! The rebellion of Lower Canada was led by Louis Joseph Papineau and his patriots. Together, they opposed the authority of the Roman Catholic Church and challenged the powers of the British governor and his unelected advisors. He had democratic pleas for a responsible government, which is a government where the executive is more dependent on an elected assembly rather than a monarch. However, this ended up being rejected by London. The rebellion of Upper Canada started by the insurgency in Lower Canada, which ended up inspiring the Anglophone radicals in the neighboring colony to take their own action against the crown. This was led by William Lyon Mackenzie, who dominated the running of the colony and its system of patronage. He opposed a system of land grants, which favored settlers from Britain. He wanted Upper Canada to be run by a U.S.-style Republican democracy. A cause of the Lower Rebellion for Canada include the huge tensions between the French and the English. The British governor gave most of the government jobs to the English. Another cause was the inability to form a party capable of dominating the majority. The economy in Canada was in crisis. The difficulties in agriculture and fur trade adversary affected the population standard of living. In addition, there were class struggle and feelings of a Canadian culture in danger with the massive wave of British immigrants looking for land and food. With the rebellion of Upper Canada, some of the causes include the economy. The economy continued to be tied with British colonial trade policies and mercantilism. This resulted in the province being capital poor. Another cause include the government trying to instill industrial and commercial development when Upper Canada was focused on the economy in an agricultural aspect. There was also huge favoritism towards the Church of England and its supporters. Lord Durham was sent to North America by Britain to investigate the colonial grievances after the Upper Canada and Lower Canada Rebellion. When he returned to Britain in 1839, he completed his report on the affairs of the British North America, or the Durham Report. He recommended that Upper and Lower Canada join to create a single province and that all debt would be erased. He recommended that people from Britain should move to Canada so that the ratio of French Canadians to British Canadians would be more balanced. He also recommended that a responsible government should replace the current imperial government. Canada's government was now open for debate. Other <laughs> British colonies also took on a system of self-government. Uh, the Act of Union was created in February 10, 1841, and it established the unity of both colonies, Canada East, or Quebec, and Canada West, Ontario. This set democratic reform into action. The reforms became a result of political partnership between Anglophone Ontario leaders and Francophone Quebec leaders. In 1864, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI were contemplating the possibility of maritime union. This interest sparked the Charlottetown Conference. Representatives concluded that the idea of a British North American Union warranted discussion. They proposed the foundations of a new country. A bicameral or unicameral federal legislature was based off of the province or on population. The Quebec Conference of 1864 had delegates meet with representatives to develop plans for unification. The compromises at Quebec included the bicameral parliament, or House of Commons, based on population and the Senate, and the split of Canada's Canada West and Canada East, Ontario and Quebec. British North America Act was a bill passed through the House of Lords and House of Commons and received the royal assent on March 29, 1867. It officially became a unified nation on July 1, 1867 and was signed by Queen Victoria. With a growing population and extended territory, Canada officially consists of Quebec, Ontario, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, British Columbia, Prince Edward Island, and other northern provinces. The end! <laughs>